Mom, don't ruin it, please. <laughs> Yay! It's wild. I don't want some. <laughs> Jason, help me sooner. Sure. I thought you didn't want a party. I didn't, but my mom picked a cake, so she gets her way, as usual. It's probably she didn't open up the house for buyers. I bought you some extra boxes, in case you need them. Did you enjoy the party? I'm not happy about this move, either. Oh. Did you find any furniture in the garage for your dorm room? I'm giving away most of it to charity. I haven't had a chance to look yet. Sarah, fine. I'll do it right now. Get it over with. The sooner the better. Anything, honey? Yeah, Mom, I did. These. Whenever I asked you guys about my birth mom, you always told me you never knew anything about her. But she's been writing me from prison? You lied to me! Honey, we didn't lie to you. When those letters arrived, you were too young to understand the situation. Older before we told you. Did you read them? Yes, we did. I don't care what she writes or promises. She's what? She's bad? She's a criminal? Is she still in prison? Sarah, I don't think it's a good idea for you to contact her. That's my business and my choice. I raised you. I think I know a little about what you need. You don't know what I need! I looked up the prison. It's two hours away from here. I have to find out if she's still there. Didn't you say she got like 15 years, right? Yeah, she was six months old. Here it is. 
I can't believe you really want to go through with this. Oh my god. She's still there. so good to hear your voice. You too. Happy birthday. I always wanted to say that to you someday. Thanks. I want you to come up and visit me. Sure. Am I allowed? Yes. Just go to the prison's website and fill out the application. And remember, when you come, dress nice like you're going to a job interview. Uh, Abby, I have to go, but maybe I'll come visit you next week. Bye. Life changes with the good and the bad No exit, no exit, no exit back. I'll get a coffee while you're inside I'll come back in an hour? Sure Taking and mortgaging What could be better than a letter from the one that you know? Oh. must be weird. Just let me look at you. Sorry about that. I still can't believe my parents lied to me about your letters. I'm sure they had a reason. We all make horrible mistakes. So, tell me all about you. Um... I'm going to college next month, Whittendale. It's back east. I'm impressed. It's gotta be expensive, right? My grandparents left me something to help out. Represents my free spirit. So what happened? Where's my father? Your father took off. He took off and it was really hard for me after that. I could barely even take care of myself. I was a mess. I had a lot of problems. And I knew that you deserved a mom and dad who could do better. I was almost your age when it happened. Giving you up was the hardest choice I ever had to make. When do you get out of here? 
My parole hearing is next week. There's a good chance they'll release me for good behavior. Just so you know, it was a setup. I'm innocent. I was wrongly convicted. You have no idea what I've had to go through just to survive in here. I'm so sorry. Nothing is ever gonna take you away from me again. You must obey all laws. Your residence can be searched any time without a warrant, and approval is needed for any travel over 50 miles. You must not associate with any known felons or be in the presence of any guns, ammunition, or have access to any weapons. Any violation will immediately send you back to prison. Do you understand the conditions of your parole? Yes, Officer Morrissey. I understand. Rebecca Kasky, so nice to meet you. Hi. Come on in. I'll show you the house. It's beautiful. We're selling because my husband's company's relocating to another state. That's my daughter. Let me show you around. Hello. Sarah? It's Abby. I got parole. Abby, that's amazing. Hey, uh, I feel bad that I missed your birthday, so I want to have you up to celebrate. They're the best. Or at least they used to be. When can I visit? Soon. Um, things are really hectic. Um, I'm just settling in and I'll, I'll let you know, okay? Oh, come on, come on, come on. Abby, where's my phone? Abby? Is everything okay? Who was that? Who are you talking to? Abby, damn it, I told you not to use my phone. Just give me a minute. You're done now. Abby? Abby, are you all right? See what you made me do, bitch. This is Carl. Do your thing at the tone. Sarah? I'm here with a client. Can they look at your bedroom for a minute? Sarah, I'm busy with something, OK? The master is right down the hall. I'll join you in a minute. That was childish. If you want to be treated like an adult, you need to start acting like one. Good morning. Do you want me to fix you something? No, thanks. I'm not no. hungry. Where are you going with all that stuff? I'm going to go stay at Karine's for a little while. I need some time to think. You, you haven't even finished packing for the move. Did you sell the house yesterday? No. Then I guess I have more time, don't I? Do you, uh, need some money? No, thanks. I don't need money. If you're thinking of dipping into your grandparents' college fund, once it's gone, it's gone. I'll handle it, thanks. I'm back. Crazy, right? Did she even ask you to come? 
She invited me up to celebrate my birthday. But she didn't give you her address. It's a small town. I'm sure someone knows where she lives. So you're just gonna surprise her by showing up? Sounds like a disaster. She needs my help. I have to do something, right? She's my mom. I was sure you were happier back then. Still you left for Anything else, girls? Do you know Abby Miller? There's a name from the past. Yeah, I know Abby. Do you know where she lives? Why do you want to know? I'm her daughter. No kidding. Yeah, you do kind of look like her, but prettier. Abby lives in a cabin at the end of Blue Jay Road. It's just off. Sure. This place creeps me out. It's exactly like one of those slasher movies where no one gets out alive. Just relax, okay? Sarah? Are you okay? Yeah. How did you find me? The waitress down at the diner said she knew where you lived. You certainly surprised me. I'm sorry, I should have waited. No, no, I, I'm happy that you're here. C come in, uh, I've missed you. I brought my stuff with me. I thought I'd stay a little bit. Okay, sure, good. Uh, go get it and uh, invite your friend to come in too. Going in there. You're crazy if you do. I came here to see my mom. Are you coming in or not? No, thanks. This is your thing. You call me when you need to ride back sometime. Thanks for all your help. Just hope you know what you're doing. Uh, if my parents call? Don't worry, I think it's something to say. Just be careful, okay? Good luck. Thanks. She had to get back to town. A job. Oh, here, let me take your bags. I'll put them in the spare bedroom. Mm -hmm. Abby, who was it? Abby, who was it? It's Sarah. Yeah. Real surprise. <laughs> Here, sit. Do your parents know you're here? Yes, but it doesn't matter anyway. I'm 18, I can do what I want. I'm really gonna have to hustle to put your birthday party together. We can go into town later and get some things, the cake. You do not have to do that, Abby. 18th. I feel so bad that I've missed your birthdays. It's the big one, too. <clears throat> you, uh, came up to visit for the day? Sarah just came up for the birthday party that I promised her. 
She just turned 18. I could really use some money for the party supplies. Sorry, babe. I'm all tapped out. Maybe you should get a job if you can. I'm in trouble again. I'm a really bad man. Excuse us for a minute, Sarah. What is your problem? Why do you speak to me like that? You should have told me you were bringing up here. What are you thinking? I didn't know. Can you at least try to make her feel welcome? Why should I? She's not my kid. Because I am trying to put my life back together and you aren't helping. Hey, without me, you wouldn't have nothing left. So don't you ever forget that. Get out of my face. Enough! Gee, you don't know when to quit. You're gonna push me too far again. And you just might push me too far. <sighs> what the hell are you thinking? What? What did you bring that here for? Nobody cares. Get inside. Well, well, well. Carl was the pretty little lady. Abby's daughter, Sarah. I guess dreams do come true. Hey, Sarah, I'm Dax. Are you done? Come here. <laughs> been a little short around town like a hot shot. I wanted to just throw you a special party for the first time because I've never been able to celebrate your birthday with you. Alright. Cool. Good. Good. Don't know what I'm gonna do. Don't worry about it. I'll pay for everything we need. We gotta get going. But I know I'll see you again. You can count on that. Carl? When are you coming home? Don't wait up. I might not come home. Promise? <laughs> I knew you'd be able to help me with this. You have to have a good resume if you want to have a good job. <sighs> this should help me get a job for sure. Well, it's finished. We can go into town and print copies at the coffee store. Thank you. These are the only photos I have of you as a baby. I was never big on taking pictures. They've always been priceless to me. Oh my god, I was such a cute baby. <laughs> yeah, you were. <laughs> That one is when I first brought you home from the hospital. I don't share these with anyone. Carl doesn't like me to talk about the past. Is he gonna come back tonight, do you think? I never know. If he's drinking, he can be a pussycat or a monster. But he would never do anything if you're here. You're not thinking of leaving. No, I came here to spend time with you. Thanks. I want you to always know where you came from.
family thing wasn't part of the deal. Throwing her a party tomorrow. No, you're not. I promised I'm her mother. Yeah, right, when it's convenient. If you don't like it, you can leave. Bitch, I've lived here longer than you, and I've been paying the taxes! they're not hiring either. The problem is, I'm a felon. Why take a chance on an ex-con, right? They don't care that I'm innocent and was set up. You'll just have to open your own salon like we talked about, right? Sure, you need money to do that. Showed up. I'm gonna go and get the other grocery bag. I'll be right back. It's Sarah, right? Right. Dax? Let me get you a beer. You drink beer, don't you? Sure. Of course. Thanks. So I heard it's your birthday. Is this a big party? We bought a cake, so I guess we're celebrating. You're 18, right? Yeah. <laughs> Just making sure. Who is the skank? I need to go live with her if you're so really? unhappy. Hey! Don't walk away from me. So you don't have money for Sarah's cake, but you have money to throw a party for your friends. You're a bastard. Yeah, so I've heard. Why don't you have a drink and relax? Is that your boyfriend? My mom. I knew you'd been cheating on me while I was away. You're crazy. Back off, because I'm not in the mood. You know, I think your brain got soft, along with everything else. I found a pair of earrings on the dresser. You want to explain those to me? I don't know anything about it. You know what? Maybe they're yours, and you just forgot. Don't you embarrass me in front of my friends. I'll bury you. <clears throat> Understand? <clears throat> Listen up, everybody. This party is over. I want you to take your stuff and go. What the hell is she doing? I thought you had her under control. Shut up and mind your own business. Calling the sheriff in five minutes. I'm not going to ask again. This party is over. Now get out. You don't mind if I stay, do you? Back off, Dax. She's my daughter. We're just having a good time. You've always been a little punk, even when you were a teenager. You need to go, Dax, and you need to go now. up on that deal, dude. You owe me a lot of cash and I need it. Don't remind me, I know. You just call me later. Hi, this is Sarah. I can't go right now. Way. Go easy. Just let her know that we love her, okay? Hi, honey. If you need anything, let us know, okay? We love you. I want you to pack up your stuff and get out of here today! You're throwing me out after I made sure you can keep this dump me! Oh, what? 
You gonna shoot me now? Stick to robbery murders much harder. See, you pull that trigger, I might be dead, but you'll go to prison for life. You see, you and me belong together. You're not gonna get rid of me that easy. <laughs> <laughs> dead? Yes. Why did you do that? You didn't have to run him over. He was gonna kill me. He was going after both of us. We have to call the cops. We have to tell them what happened. No, no, police. We can't trust them. We won't survive. But I'll explain to them what happened. No, police. They'll take me away from you. I won't lose you again. Sarah, you gotta listen to me. We gotta stick together and stay strong. Do you hear me? Help me get his body into the I'm back of the sick. truck. Help me get his body into the back of the truck. You gotta stay strong for me. I need you more than ever. Sarah. Sarah. Do you want me to go back to prison? No, of course not. Then we gotta take care of it.
Okay, but I need you to be strong for me. I don't have anyone else, Sarah. I didn't have any other choice. What happens when people start asking questions? That's why we have to get our story straight. I ended the party. Carl was drinking and he was upset. After everyone left, he stormed out and, and he didn't tell us where he was going. And that's the last time we saw him, right? Let anything bad happen to you. Going to bed. Okay, good night. Try to get some sleep. bedroom and lock the door. Go, 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 go. What do you want? That's no way to say hello now, is it? He left drunk last night and I haven't seen him since. You know Carl. Yeah, I know. We were supposed to meet this morning. And he owes me a lot of money. I'd be really pissed if I thought he was trying to screw me over. Well, that's between you and him. Take a look around, Ramon. Get out of my house, Dax. Sarah, that girl I was telling you about. Sarah, meet Ramon. Hey, Sarah. What's up, girl? I have a great idea. We'll take Sarah with us until Carl returns my call and money. You like to party with Sarah, right, Ramon? I'll show you a good time for sure. <laughs> You're leaving now. You really think you can shoot me? You broke into my... It'll be my word against a felon with a gun. Not if you're dead. That alone puts you back in the slammer for life. Yeah, at least I'll be alive. Now get out! 
I'm sure your probation officer would love to hear about you having Carl's gun. And I'm sure the sheriff would love to know where you get all your cars. I'll be back. That's a promise. And you won't see or hear me. You'll just feel me. And it'll be too late. back with the sheriff. Trust me, he doesn't want him looking into what he's doing either. This is all getting so crazy. I think maybe I should head home. No. No, I don't feel safe here alone. What if Dax comes back? Why can't you just stay? Why can't you do that for me? What's he doing up here on this fire room? Just doesn't feel right. When was the last time you saw Carl? He left six. It was getting dark. Had you been drinking? Yeah, all afternoon. What was the nature of your argument? He knew that I was throwing a birthday party for my daughter. That he invited a bunch of his drunken friends over. They were getting out of control and he got mad when I threw everybody out. And you don't live here. You're just visiting, correct? Yes, sir. How old are you? 18. What was Mr. No, he, he was upset. He said he might not be back. That was no surprise. Anything else? Miss Miller, can you get me the names of any of the others who were at this party? I didn't know them. They were a bunch of Carl's friends that I had never met before. Except for Dax. He was here. And what was his relationship with Mr. Thomas? They were business partners, I think. Uh, something to do with cars. Carl was... Be off for now. I might need you to come down to the station if I need anything else. Thanks for your time. And I know this is difficult. Sorry for your loss. We'll get the coroner's report back in a few days. That should answer a lot of questions. Thank you, Sheriff Winters. Okay. Yeah, let me get that for you. sheriff is going to figure this out. What happens when the report comes back? Who do you think they're going to suspect? Carl had all kinds of friends in his business. 
They'll just figure it was one of them. I have to go home now. We can't just run away from this, Sarah. I'm sure your fingerprints are all over the steering wheel. I mean, what if they think you had something to do with it? Why would they think that? I don't know. But if they find your prints and you run, it's not gonna look good. And what about that lamp that you... I've got your back and you've got mine, right? Good morning, sleepyhead. My cell phone isn't working. What happened? I don't know. It's just not working. Hmm. Maybe it's the battery. It was fully charged last night. Now it won't even turn on. Let me take a look. Yeah, that's strange. Oh, I never trust electronics. So many things can go wrong. Yeah. Abby Miller, I have a warrant to search your cabin and the surrounding property. Is everything okay? I need you and your daughter to come down to the station with me for question. I'll be calling my lawyer when we get there. That's your right. still going to voicemail. Mr. and Mrs. Kasky. Hi, Corinne. Is Sarah here? She's gone. To the store. Hmm. How'd she get there? She took my car. Really? Is your car's parked in the driveway? Oh, yeah. I meant, um, I have to pick her up from the store with my car. Do you know if Sarah contacted her birth mother? I don't know. She didn't say anything about it. Corinne, we're concerned about Sarah. If you're lying, you need to tell us what you know. If you're covering up for her and something happened in the store. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Yes, Sarah is up with Abby at her cabin. Where is it? Twin Valley. I'll text you the directions. She sent me a text last night. She wanted to leave because there were some problems.
You and your daughter were the last people to see Carl when he left your cabin. Is that correct? Sure, if my client can't vouch for who may have seen Carl after he left the party, she doesn't even know where he went. Did Carl upset you and make you angry? Did he threaten you or your daughter? Did he hit you? What's your motive for murder, Mr. Fields? Why don't you ask Dax, his business partner? He came around threatening me because Carl owed him money. Oh, we'll be bringing him in for questioning, too. Don't worry. Then are we done? Sarah? Is there something you want to tell me, Sarah? Now would be the time. I don't know what you want me to say. The waitress at Billy Miners, Paige, she saw you driving Carl's truck a few days ago. I drove Abby to a job interview. She doesn't have a license. The funny thing is, your fingerprints went on the steering wheel. If you're being coerced into silence, you can let me know. Just nod your head. You don't have to be a victim, too. Remember, this is murder we're talking about. Did Abby ever tell you why she went to prison? Yes. I guess you know what you're doing. Rich in a few days. Mr. Fields, please have your client available for further questioning. Uh, when they do call you in again, give me a ring and I'll meet you down here. In the meantime, you know, do as they say and stay at your cabin. What did the sheriff ask? Nothing. I didn't say anything, okay? Do you really think you can pin this on me? You have made a horrible mistake. And it is going to cost you. Dax, could you join me in my office for a minute, please? These idiot, idiot cops have no respect. Sarah, I just want to thank you for sticking it out here with me. I don't know what I'd do without you. Thank you. It's okay. I'm Jason Caskey. This is my wife, Rebecca. We must be Abby. We're Sarah's parents, and we've come to take her home. Mom? Dad? What are you doing here? Corinne told us. We were concerned because we didn't hear from you. There's nothing to worry about here. 
Sarah's fine. I've been taking good care of my daughter. Is that why she wants to leave? Excuse me? What right do you have to come here and judge me? Property, ma'am. And I don't like people coming here and talking to me like that. Do you get me? Okay. Let's just take it easy. Sarah. Here comes take you home. You don't have to go with them. You can stay here with me. If they don't leave, I'll just call the sheriff. Go ahead and call. I'm sure he'd love to check up on you. Can everyone just calm down? You're lucky we didn't bring the sheriff with us. Mom! Seriously. I should go. I'll get my stuff. Do you need some help? My money was on you the whole time. I'm not going to allow some convict to dictate anything about my daughter. That woman is dangerous. I just want to get Sarah out of here. <sighs> Please don't leave me here. I feel like I'm a prisoner trapped with nowhere else to go that's safe. Sheriff Winters told me that they didn't find any fingerprints on the steering wheel. You wiped them clean, didn't you? I panicked. Uh, I wasn't thinking clearly at the time. It all happened so fast. Then why did you scare me and tell me that my prints were on the wheel? I'm sorry. Remember. We'll be fine if we just stick together like we promised. Don't you think it's already in the newspapers? What do I tell my parents if they read about it? If they ask, you just stick to our story. Just focus on your future. I want to be there when you graduate college. I'm so proud of what you've become, Sarah. You can come back whenever you want. I'm always here for you. We'll never allow her to come back. Just don't worry. She's just upset. If you try to contact her again, I'm going to notify the police. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. Whoa. Easy. Easy. Sarah, we're going now. Sarah, what happened at the cabin? Nothing happened. I just wanted to leave. I got tired of being in the middle of nowhere. We saw the crime scene tape on the front door. So, something must have happened. You want to explain that? Okay. Abby's boyfriend went missing, and the sheriff was looking for him. Her boyfriend. They found him in the woods. His truck went off the road and he died in the accident. <sighs> I'm sorry, I should have told you. I just didn't want you to worry about me anymore. Oh, 
Want him for murder. Over. Copy that, Around. I need to ask her a few questions. Sarah, please come down here. It's about Detective. Do I uh, need to call my lawyer? No. It's about Abby Miller. Honey, the detective has some questions he needs to ask you. Sheriff Winters from Twin Valley asked me to speak with you. It was about your birth mother. He served a warrant for her arrest, but she's on the run. She's a fugitive. Has she tried to contact you? No. I haven't seen her since yesterday, when I left her cabin. Is this about a boyfriend's accident? It was a murder. If she does contact you, please, call me immediately. Sarah! Uh. Abby's involved in a murder? What do you know about it? Nothing. The police said it was an accident. I don't know what they found. They found the murderer, Abby. The police are not fooling around. If she does try to contact you, you tell us right away and we call that detective, okay? Sarah? Yes. Okay. Yeah, Benny, I'm working on it. I know, you'll get it. I promise, okay? better come up with it quick. Nothing a beer can't help. She ask him for more? I know that bitch Abby has my money. You want? Lower your voice. Please, I just need some cash to get me through. Can you help me or not? Okay. I won't bother you again. Okay. Just hold on. Hold on.
This is Martinez. Detective Martinez? This is Sarah Kasky. Yeah. Did Abby contact you? No, she didn't. I was just wondering. Why did they convict Abby for the crime 10 years ago if she was innocent? Is that what she told you? The robbery was her idea. And people got hurt, Sarah. She ran a guard over with her car and her partner was shot. The guard... Sarah, are you there? Yeah. I'll let you know if she contacts me. Good night. You're still up? Yeah, I can't sleep. I know you must be disappointed. It would have been nice if Abby could have been in your life in a positive way. I should have trusted you and Dad. I was so busy acting like... If you never really know, the best you can do is try. What if it means betraying someone's trust? You have to be careful. Not to let your emotions get in the way of doing the right thing. The truth always matters. I know what you're going through, and when you're ready, you can come to us. We're here if you need help. I feel like I have to figure this out for myself. This time. That's okay, honey. I don't want to tell you what to do. Thanks, Mom. You want to know a secret? Yeah, sure. Then your most important choices will be the ones that you make about your child. You'll see someday when you're a mother. I'm really lucky to have you and Dad. I love you both so much. We're family. You think the cops got the money? Cops don't have it. I know it's here somewhere. Keep looking. Hey, I think I know where she might have went. Bingo. I brought you some food. Did you eat? No. Why did they send you to prison for so long if you were innocent? I already told you that. It was a setup. I was in the wrong place at the wrong time. But how did they convict you? I was a guy I knew. He committed the crime. And he said that I was involved and they believed him. I didn't have enough money for a good lawyer, and so I lost. What crime? I let him into my friend's place, and he stole her money. It was stupid. It was a big mistake. What are you talking about? You're always the victim. But I know the truth. I know the real story about the jewelry store robbery. Who have you been talking to? The cops? 
They're trying to turn you against me. Look, I am sorry, okay? I, I didn't tell you the truth because I thought that if you knew, you wouldn't want me back in your life. You're my precious daughter, Sarah. Then why would you involve me in a murder? Why couldn't you just be the mother that I wanted to know my whole life? I can't protect you anymore. We made a deal. Remember? You owe me. I saved you from Carl. It's time to stop running, Abby. It's over. Look, you better stick to our story, because if I'm going down, you are coming with me! You're pathetic. I'm pathetic! Don't you judge me! You get out! You get the hell out of here! I don't need you anymore! Ah! Oh! Oh! Get back's a bitch, ain't it? Hey, beautiful. You should have stayed away while you had the chance. Stay the hell away from her. Oh, thanks for sticking the cops on me, by the way. But it didn't work, though, did it? They know you did it. Where's the money? Go to hell. I'm gonna give you one last chance to tell me where the money is, or I swear I'll put you out of your misery right now. I did have the money, I had the money. But when the cops raided my cabin, I couldn't get to it. They must have found it by now. You expect me to believe you? Your life's officially hell. I'm telling you the truth. I don't have it anymore. And you'll pay me back with the joy of seeing you dead. Sarah's got money. I'll bet she does. What money? <laughs> what money? Her grandparents gave her a bank account for college. I don't know. How much? You know how much? <laughs> how much? Thirty thousand. <laughs> Guess what? You're gonna pay off Abby's debt. We're going to the bank. We'll go inside. Or Ramon waits with Abby in the car. Understand? Detective, do you know if the DA would be willing to offer a plea deal? Sarah should be okay if she turns state's witness and testifies against Abby in court. But it is up to the DA. I'll need to discuss it further with my client. There's no need to discuss it, Mr. DeBlaze. I'll testify. I would. 
You're starting college next week. You'd be proud of me. I decided to get rid of a lot of stuff. Fitting it can be to leave all these memories behind. We'll make new ones. Of course we will. Sarah, those letters are the only thing you have from your mother. It's okay. I don't want them anymore. You're my mother. 